Walsh she fire a major laser. He's a DJ. He's mm-hmm. an MC. He's a producer, and he's going to be in town for the show at Garfinkel's Whistler's Legendary Party Bar on Thursday. Now, this is going to be your first time ever in Whistler. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Everybody's uh, been telling me that this is the place to go when I get to the west coast of Canada. Not even Vancouver. Like everybody's like, hey, you got to go to Whistler. So. <laughs> I'm real excited, you know. It's definitely going to be quite the difference, though, because you, you're from Miami. You played shows recently uh-huh. in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. So are you ready right. for how cold it's going to be here? I'm not. I'm never ready for that. No matter how cold it gets, I just cannot grasp cold weather. So no is the answer, but we'll work it out. Do you get any time to go out and enjoy some of the nightlife at all before your show, kind of get a feel for the club scene here in town? Um, when it's cold, no. If it was warmer, then, then I probably would go, like, get something to eat or something like that. But, um, you know, when you do this for a living, you probably don't really, like, go to clubs when you go when you work at clubs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. So, yeah, so, you know, just kind of seeing the city, though, and doing, like, city stuff, I would absolutely be doubtful. In cold weather, I don't know. Like, I've been invited to ski, and, man, I just don't know. <laughs> Have you ever ski or snowboarded before? I've uh, gotten to the point where I was about to ski. I was actually in Colorado, and I, was, I went up the lift and everything. And then when I got there, I said, you know what, this, this isn't for me. So I decided not to. You joined Major Lazer in 2011, which is not super long ago, with DJ Diplo right. and Jillionaire. How did that even come to be? Have you worked with Diplo and before Major Lazer? Yeah, me and him were friends before, because um, he's a big fan of my sound system, Black Chinese. So... Uh, you know, he knew who I was, and I didn't know who he was. So he was a, a, a fan of what we were doing. And then when I met him about five years ago, we just remained friends. So every single time we come into Miami, we hang out um, and stuff like that. So, you know, when uh, he did an MC, he called me up, and it was pretty natural. You know, it wasn't really anything sports. It was a friendship and um, that just, you know, went into the work world. But it, it, it's been really, really cool. What's it been like working with Diplo? Because he's, he's a pretty big deal. Yeah, man, it's a blessing, man. It's an absolute blessing. You know, it's an inspiration, too, because you see how hard he works. You know, nothing, nothing's given to that guy, man. He works nonstop. And, um, you know, for a person like myself, who was probably uh, one of the biggest uh, DJs in the dance hall and reggae world, um, to venture out of that world and uh, kind of almost start from scratch, you know, and have this person push you, constantly, you know, hit you up about working, constantly remind you, constantly emailing me, constantly texting me. I mean, if I tell you how many emails or texts I get from him in a day, <laughs> you'd be shocked, you know, but it's all good because that's exactly what I should be doing is focusing, working, because, you know, this is, this is the moment and the people are, they want to hear what we have to say. They want to hear what we're going to play. So it's an inspiration. Absolutely. For anyone that's maybe just starting to kind of check out or listen to Major Lazer, can you describe your guys' style of music? Um, it's like dancehall and reggae mashed up with EDM. You're a DJ, you're an MC, you're a producer, you pretty much do it all. What kind of things are you working on separately from Major Lazer? I got a lot, man. Like right now, I just released a, a trap remix of this OG Bobby Johnson song, which is really big in America. Um, but also just doing like a lot of Miami based stuff. Um, and probably going to drop a, a real Roots reggae album this year called Reverend. Is there anybody that you're hoping to kind of collaborate with? So many people, everybody. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody I don't want to work with. Everybody, every single body. So. <laughs> After Whistler, what is next for you? Even for Major Laser, uh, are you guys going to be playing any festivals at all this year? Yeah, man. You know, we're going to do a lot. We go to South Africa, Kenya. Oh wow! Uh, do yeah, do Africa for a while, and then we go to Australia. So we're gonna we're gonna go do that, and then when we uh when we come back, it'll be summertime. So you know the summer festivals will be popping again. The uh, Pemberton Music Festival that's gonna be coming back here. Yeah, man, that'd be good. You know, I'm always down, especially summertime. Yeah, man, definitely, I'm 100% down. So what can we expect here in Whistler to see from you during your show here Thursday night at Garfs? Oh, man, just crazy vibes, man. Crazy, crazy turn up, crazy twerking, crazy jumping off the walls. <laughs> you know, lots of energy. Thank you very much for uh, chatting with me today. We definitely look forward to the show on Thursday. Yeah, man, no problem. I can't wait to see all you guys, man. Make sure you guys are there. It's going to be a lot of fun.